Okay, so this is the Bema seat that the Apostle Paul was talking about in 1 Corinthians chapter 3. And so in ancient Corinth, there was a courthouse. There was a place where the judge and the ruler would judge cases. And everyone had to appear before the Bema seat and they would be judged. And uh, the Apostle Paul saw that as an illustration of at the end of time, when we all go to heaven, when the church is meeting Jesus Christ and we're there, uh, we'll receive our rewards. That Jesus has taken our sin, so we're not judged for our sin because Jesus took the judgment for our sin. But in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, it says, when you build upon the foundation of Jesus Christ, wood, hay, and stubble, or gold, silver, and precious stones, those things will be tested by fire. And those things like wood, hay, and stubble, the things that don't have eternal meaning, some things in our life will burn up with wasted time. But the gold, silver, and precious stones are the people, the Word of God, and the souls of people that you've loved and invested. Uh, Jesus Christ, love into other people will last forever. That's gold. So that gold, silver, and precious stones, those are the eternal things that last from our, our lives as a Christian. And the, the fire of God will test the works of all Christians to see if it lasts as an eternal work, something that was done through the Holy Spirit, through the Spirit of God. Uh, God does things in our lives and there's rewards for that. Of course, when we get the rewards at the Bema seat, when we face Jesus face to face and we receive the rewards, we'll, we'll cast those rewards back down at his feet. We'll cast those rewards. An ultimate act of worship to cast your rewards that Jesus gave you back at the feet of Jesus at the Bema seat judgment of Christ and so we uh, we know that this finishes the church age and on into the the millennial age the kingdom the kingdom of God for all of eternity throughout the universe will begin